welcome back to the channel. I'm actually filming on my phone, which I'll explain in a moment. But I'm doing a video about what cameras I use because I've had a few people contact me and ask. So let's get to that. Okay, so like I say, a few people have contacted me saying, what camera should they get? What do I use? Really, it's down to what you want to use it for, I think. Now, I'm going to take you through a few of my cameras in a minute and I'll give you my opinion. Obviously, I'm no camera expert. I am known to have a bit of a problem with buying new cameras. It's not a problem. Hey ho, but anyway, let's get through, let's have a look, see what we've got. Okay, so this is the cameras that I've got. Actually, I've got a couple more than this, but this is the main section of them. So I've got everything from, obviously, my DJI drone, which is the second drone that I've ever owned. Um, I've got the first camera that I started off, which is this little cheapy thing, which I'll explain in a second. Then I went up to the Git 2 cameras, and then the Git 3 cameras, and then we came up to the GoPros, and there's more GoPros over here, and you've also now got the X21 Insta360. So, like I say, it depends what you want to use a camera for. I mean, obviously, with the drone, you're after aerial footage, it's a totally different thing, but it's another camera. Um, these little cheap cameras, the quality's not great. The main problem that I have with these is the audio quality is absolutely rubbish. So, yeah, you'll get a bit of footage. 4K, hmm, not really 4K, but, well, that's what they say. The GitHub camera is it's a cheap, affordable camera. It will give you 4K footage. Again, it's not going to be perfect, but they're not too bad if you're on a budget. Now, when they got to the GitHub 3, or the Git 3 camera, this was a lot better. I mean... That you can ha also have a slave camera on here as well. So you can have a camera that's outside the car as well as inside the car. The quality is a lot better than the Git 2. But again, it does not compare to the GoPro. So this is a GoPro Hero 9. Now I've got a media mod around this for sound. And to be honest with you, this camera I think is absolutely amazing. It's got a front camera so you can see yourself. Um, the, the accessories you can get for it, you can see I've got extra batteries, I've got um, lens covers for sun lenses and stuff like that, extra chargers, remote controls, everything like that. It is an all-round amazing camera. Now, again, I have other cameras for different bits and pieces. So I have these, which are Hero Session 5s. Now, the stability on these are absolutely amazing. But they are great, they're so small, they're a point and shoot. You can put them in their cage, which is like I've got one on here, an extension stick, and you clip it to the car, point and shoot, one button record, it's brilliant. It gets really amazing footage. And you can see here, I kind of added a remote, because you have to have a, a mic adapter, and I've added a radio mic, and then I have the mic inside the car. Again, brilliant footage. Now I've gone on to the X360. Now I've done a video today, which I'm gonna, I'll point you to in a moment. This is an amazing camera. Now, the footage that you get from like the high up shots, which is like the GTA version, is absolutely epic. Do I like it for vlogging? I can't say I really do. Okay, so this is the Insta360 app. Now. I didn't, I'm using it on the phone because I found it on the laptop a little bit counterproductive. It kept on lagging and everything, so the phone worked a lot better. So going through this, you can see it loads of footage up, which is great. Now, the thing with this is, obviously, because it's taken in 360, you have to reframe everything. So you can just put it on direction facing forwards, but then obviously you don't know what you're seeing around you. Um, so you can lose a lot. It's You can't scan through footage. Like on the GoPro, you know you're only facing forwards, that's what you're getting. So this is great for not missing stuff, but a pain because you have to reframe it. Now, I did find once you come out of super view wide mode and you go down to narrow, I found that the video quality dropped a lot. You can see this in the video of the vlog that I did at Goodwood recently, and it really didn't impress me. For the super view when you're going behind the car, like the GTA view, that is absolutely amazing. But I think that's what its skill is. Okay, so my honest opinion is 
depends what you want your camera for. I mean, if you want like the GTA version, you want to be able to see it from the back of the car or you want to do drive-bys, this is a very, very good tool, okay? For vlogging, like I say, I just find it a pain that you have to edit it. You have to reframe where you want to be. Um, it's harder to transfer, uh, to sort of like scan through your footage because you've got to know where you're going to be looking and what you want to see. Um, I just find this extra work, okay? But it is an amazing camera, it really is. If you want to do vlogging or you want to do some nice sort of um, cinematic, I don't think you can beat this GoPro. I mean, this is only the Hero 9, I think the 11's out now. Um, to be honest, this is amazing. The stability on it is outstanding. The quality of the video, I think, is a hell of a lot better than what you get on the Insta360. Um, and if you want to be able to do like drive-bys and bits and pieces, and you're going to connect to your car, these point-and-shoot uh, session fives are amazing. They're discontinued now. You can still get them second-hand. Um, and I believe there is also a GoPro uh, 11 Mini out, which I've not tried, which is supposed to be like the replacement for these. Now. That's what I'd recommend. If you want to do like drive-bys, you want a GTA, get yourself an Insta360. They are amazing cameras. If you want to do a bit of vlogging or you want to do some cinematic, I would say go for a Hero 9 or any over a Hero 9 uh, GoPro because obviously you get a front-facing camera. The stability is outstanding. If you want something you can clip on your car to get your track footage or something, definitely go for a Session 5. Maybe the new Mini 11, I don't know. But that's what I think. Hope this is, you found this helpful, and I'll see you in another video. Take care. Sunlight, so cold, sleep is nice, so tired, my eyes fight, they just want to close back up tight, get up, hoodie on, hard work at the crack of dawn, this life ain't for the weak ones, no, this life pure only for the strong, feeling slow, shake it off, don't got time for negative thoughts, red sight, got the dot, shoot my shot, I want the top, never lost, got my plot, know my story, I know my boss, I will fight against the clock, time's a limited gift from God. One day I will have my victory Crush all my enemies so viciously Work so hard my hands are blistering And they will carve my name in history Wake up to the sound of the drums Stand up, locked and loaded, here I come